Hello, it's Matt from Nordic Walk in Preston and today I'm in the beautiful Tatton Park in Cheshire. I've just done a fabulous uh, advanced technique um, training course for, for me as a, an instructor but something that will allow me to uh, assist you as walkers with your technique and improve your ex or allow you to improve your experience with Nordic Walking. And I'm sat here today with Nikki. Nikki is one of my colleagues from the Lake District. So I'm going to introduce Nikki and Nikki's going to tell us a little bit about her journey into Nordic walking and uh, about the walks and things she does in the lakes and what we'd like to do is uh, go up to the Lake District and do some walks with Nikki. So Nikki, hello. Hi, hi. Um, yeah, I'm Nikki Sproson. Um, I live in the heart of the Lake District in the Ellswater Valley. I teach Nordic walking throughout the Lake District and give people a chance to take their Nordic walking passport home with them to continue their journey mat. So I tend to specialise more for, for the tourist market so people can go home and walk with um, my colleagues like Matt uh, to continue their journey and, um, and occasionally visit the Lake District to come and explore the fells around where I am. Um, I'd like to agree with Matt what an amazing day we've had. Um, we've learnt loads about our own bodies and our own techniques and realise how we can really bring people on to get the ultimate um, technique to move their body forward efficiently, whether it's along the flat in the park to keep fit or whether to um, be able to go up and down the fells as efficiently as we possibly can whilst we keep fit. Um, Tell me about how you got into Nordic walking. Okay, so um, I've historically been a bit of a gym girl and always suffered somewhat with my historic badge back injury um, met my uh, current my husband um, who is an ultra runner and he runs with poles and he gave me a pair of poles and said now this is what you should do on a very wet day uh, showed me how I could take the weight off my lower limb joints and strengthen my my core and my back which worked fantastically for me um, and I don't suffer with a bad back anymore um, and struggle trying to be a runner with poles didn't really work for me. Found the walking was a really powerful way for me to correct myself and really wanted to take that to, to learning and um, help others to do the same. So I went off to learn um, how to pass all this information over to um, other people that would want to get out the door and have the fear of, of going out in the fells on their own. So they come with me and we explore um, low-level valleys and higher, higher-level mountain tops. Um, so and tell us about some of the the areas because yeah. you live right yeah, by Glenridding. I live, Glenridding I live right in the heart of the, of the lakes and my favourite valley. Obviously, I'm biased, <laughs> living here on the shores of Ellswater, underneath Helvellyn. And I teach um, at Felford Park, which is a much gentler terrain on the southern tip of Windermere. I also teach in Winlatter and Grisdale Forest and work on different events such as Keswick Mountain Festival. Um, I'm quite involved helping people who may not want to compete, but actually just want um, a new skill that they can use in the fells. I deliver Nordic walking holidays where people can complete a natural route such as the newly launched National Park's Ulls Waterway, a 20 mile um, route around the lake in two or three days and uh, take your luggage with for you um, and guide you around and also the lesser known Windermere Way which is a 45 mile route, route around the lake in four different lakes um, including six different fells and we stay in Ambleside, Bowness, Lakeside and at Sawry so really quite iconic places. These lakes can also be done as individual days if you're coming from not so far away. Um, you said that you're going to do that in about July, August time. Yes. And that maybe from Preston we could come up and do yep. individual legs. They're going to be yep. Tuesday evenings. Is We're exploring right? using, instead of our workout walk, which is our standard um, hours blast every Tuesday night, we thought we'd do something different during the summer holidays and open the Windermere Way to people from further afield as individual walks on a Tuesday evening. This would mean the start of the walk would be parking and getting the last, possibly the last or the second last of the Windermere steamers from one, or the ferry, the Windermere ferry, from um, the start to the, the finish to the start of the walk and then we'd be walking back to the cars. So there's four different walk lengths, there's a 14, a 13, a 10 and a, and a 7 mile walk. So there is a gen... Yeah? 
Those miles. are miles, yeah. yeah, yes. Did I say kilometres? No, you said yeah, miles. miles. Yeah, yeah, those. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and so at an average of, of two and a half miles an hour-ish, um, if that is a sort of um, a, a constriction for you and, and perhaps beyond your limits, then in the spring, possibly this autumn as well, we'll be doing day walks for that route and you tick the box, you get the map at the end. Um, and we could take all day over that and we'd have a number of walk leaders so the group could split into the faster and the slower walkers and it is a route that is achievable for everyone in my opinion but just at different levels so i'd welcome anybody to come and achieve these fabulous um, routes in the lake district with stunning views and we've done I was over a year ago the Ullswater Way we'd come up and we got absolutely so we started before the some floods. of the route yes yeah, which had to be uh, deviated it, yeah, so we'd like yeah, to bring yeah. up some of the group from Preston yeah. to do that again yeah um, it can be done in three legs a 10 mile a five mile and a six mile route or it can be done in two halves on two days so you get the steamer from Glenridge into Fooler Bridge and walk back on the west side or um, walk back on the east side or some of you may want to do that 20 miles in one day there's a challenge we could come up for a a weekend or something yep. like that. Do, do half, half and half, and, and then yep. stay over yep. and have a bit of a. It's not high climbing. It is quite tricky terrain, but it just takes some careful walking. And the areas that where there's tricky terrain, we just highlight for you, and we just walk a little bit more carefully without being powerful, which you may be doing when you're in the park with Matt. We just slow down and just take our time, especially if it's been raining, which I'm sure you all know can happen a, a little bit more often in the Lake District. <laughs> but all good fun. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we'd Great. welcome everybody. Yeah, okay. nice, super. Thanks Brilliant. for spending time. It's been really time. nice to meet up with Matt. We, we were very close and uh, we hardly ever see each other. <laughs> Both too busy with our walking. Great, right. give me a yeah. high five. Whoa. Thank you very much. <laughs> Go Nordic. <laughs> and uh, we'll make that blog post about you and we'll, uh, we'll get people up yeah, to, uh, yeah, yeah. to the Lake District. That'd be great. Thank okay. you. See you all at Grasmere.